Hey, what's up guys? Everybody I speak to these days has the exact same story. Good help is hard, actually impossible to find, right? We've all heard the stories. We've all heard about the skills gap and the problem with the trades, not having enough folks in them. We're now two or three generations into a world where American high school students have shifted their focus to preparation, preparing themselves for a four-year college instead of a trade school vocational uh, skill. Right now, 53% of skilled workers are at the age of 45 years or older. The trades has become an older profession. And it's, it's because older baby boomers and some of these Gen, X, Gen Xers are at retirement age now. We need a paradigm shift or something. We need to direct and mentor young people toward the trades. What can we do, you, me, what can we do, what can we be doing better? For one thing, we need to treat the trades as a career rather than just a job or a labor or something. So looking for help, right? So what happens when you put an ad in Craigslist or something and you look for a carpenter nowadays? Well, I'll tell you what happens. You get a bunch of older guys who are not happy in their current job or have a ton of bad habits. While most of these guys, have cert they're certainly skilled, they come with baggage. It almost seems like the only real way to get a good guy these days is to poach someone from someone else. And we all know that's a super sucky thing to do. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be something that we can all do collectively to, to, to improve this. So recently I volunteered to be on the advisory board of my local trade school in, in town. And my intent was to help guide and maybe help with the lead the curriculum toward graduating better skilled graduates. And that got me starting to think about part-timers. Part-timers, I was like, okay, yeah, maybe we could do that. I, I could do that. So once on the advisory board, I learned about and signed up for a co-op student. You all know what a co-op student is, right? If you don't, a co-op or cooperative education, it's a structured method of combining classroom-based education with practical real-world experience. So the trade school students, they do their classroom, then they go out in the field. A co-op student basically spends alternating weeks classroom and field, job site, classroom. Uh, and they receive academic credit for the job site work, for that experience. So uh, assuming you don't get the number nine batter of the program, um, my, thought, my thought was, or my thought process was to try to coach, mentor, and train up some high school students interested in the trades. Uh, the key is to get them to stay long enough and become viable members of the team. And, and some of these new kids, these millennials these days, they bounce. So how long does that take, right? Well, it depends on the kid, right? It really does depend on the kid. By the time a carpentry trade student is ready for co-op, they've got their OSHA 10, and they're experienced, uh, or I should say they have an excellent understanding of measuring and tool use. They're safe with tools. Where they lack is structural knowledge, nomenclature, work, work site workflow efficiency, and most important, they really don't know how to repair things or build. Some do, most don't. You see, in the classroom setting, not everybody gets to do. Some have to watch. And then, of course, there's the ones that always watch. You definitely don't want that one. So it's, it's a struggle trying to find a young person that wants to do this. Much of the trade education is by nature exposure training. Not a lot of long-term repetition of skill building. The rest of the trade school education is based on small shop projects and mini bills, which is an excellent way to learn. And the older students, you know, seniors and stuff, junior seniors, they go to job sites and they work on projects, real projects with the shop teacher's oversight. The reality is that they don't know that much and, and they have a little bit of experience. That's about it. So what are we looking for? What am I looking for? Well, when I look at these kids, I look for passion. I want someone who is passionate about learning a craft, not a job. Someone who wants to build, fix stuff, and literally work with their hands. Passion. So if we focus on the passion and, and, and coach that up, so at the end of the day, I realized that I was focusing too much on the skills needed to do the job. I can teach skills, you can teach skills, but I sure as hell can't teach passion. So I think the key is to find a passionate kid and teach them. I don't know, I, I'm, that's where I'm going next. Oh, and by the way, tell them to leave that cell phone in the truck, 
treat them and pay them well and then move out of the way. Get out of the way and let them go. Hey guys, I, I just wanted to share these thoughts with you. We've got to be working together and thinking smarter about the trades. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time here at Concord Carpenter.